After months of touring on the pro circuit, it's really great to relax and just play golf for fun. And especially here in Canada. Oh, it's nice to play around without feeling like the whole world is watching. The Women's Open. After winning it twice, you'd think I'd get used to the pressure. But I wanted that third win so badly. I had my game under control and a five-stroke lead coming into the final green. Sure enjoyed that last putt. A dream come true and on my birthday. But I'm sure ready for a break. Dale and Robin deserve one, too. I haven't had as much time with Robin as I'd like. We'll take care of that on our vacation in Canada. You know, getting here was half the fun. Dale, my husband, manages everything so that I can concentrate on golf. Oh, sure is nice. We're finally getting away. Boy, does Canada sound good. Maybe I'll get to do some fishing. And we can show Robin a good time. And Susie can relax. Forget about tournaments for a while. And pressure. Of course, she can't keep Susie away from golf for very long. She's already got games lined up with a couple of club champs. Susie, Dale, and Robin. Time to get together. Tournaments behind you. Time to get away. Fly, little plane, won't you fly? Pretty little clouds roll Flirting with the mountains on the right Susie, down on the fair And Susie, Dale and Robin, they must be fishing Roll, little ball, won't you roll Hurry, little ball, won't you hurry Get to the center where you belong Bye-bye, oh, birdie, bye-bye Bye-bye, birdie, bye-bye Roll, little ball, won't you roll? Hurry, little ball, won't you hurry? The way you're rolling makes me worry. Flirting with that hazard on the right. What a fantastic place this is. Surrounded by gorgeous mountains, loads of flowers everywhere, and would you believe it's snowing a little today. Robin saw her first bear this morning. She was glad Daddy was along to chase it up a tree for her. Dale couldn't wait to put his waders on. The hotel's right here where the Spray and Bow Rivers meet. And that's not mud in the Bow River, that's ground rock from the glaciers just up the valley. Hey, Susie, I'm not having much luck. I'll try again later. Let's get a cup of coffee and then go riding. Yeah, Susie was practically raised on horseback. But she sold her horses and bought a car so she could get around to play golf when she turned 16. So I guess I know what she likes best. Well, anyway, we spent the afternoon riding. <laughs> I didn't have horses when I was a kid, so that's me bouncing a little. I was invited for a round with Bob Bray this morning. Bob lives in Banff. In fact, he's the club champion. He plays the course several times a week, really knows its personality well. This course is one of the most beautiful I've ever played, and it's rated as one of the world's best. Laid out in a narrow valley between Mount Rundle and the Bow River, it was built originally in 1887, and then completely redesigned in 1927 by the famous golf course architect, Stanley Thompson. He sure lived up to his reputation here. There are over 150 traps, through the tough first seven holes, Bob is even with par, and I've managed to go one under. Eight's called the Devil's Cauldron. Good name. A short 173-yard par three, but that's a lake way down there, almost from tea to green. Miss the green, there's no place to go but across the lake and into the woods. I decided on my six iron.
Bob's going with his seven. Play the hole just like you see it Over the lake and through the trees It's headed down the middle Ain't you lucky? Old man mountain sees it all The lake is gonna take your ball Oh, bogey, we don't need you hanging around Roll, little ball, won't you roll? Hurry, little ball, won't you hurry? The way you're rolling makes me worry Flirting with that hazard on the right Roll, little ball, won't you roll? Hurry, little ball, won't you hurry? Get to the center where you belong. Bye-bye, birdie, bye-bye. It's nice to get by Devil's Cauldron with a couple of pars. Fourteen is a 210-yard par three over a water hazard, a part of the Bow River. Roll, little ball, won't you roll? Hurry, little ball, won't you hurry? The way you're rolling makes me worry. Flirting with that hazard on the right. Roll, little ball, won't you roll? Hurry, little ball, won't you hurry? Get to the center where you belong. Bye-bye, birdie, bye-bye. Bye-bye, birdie, bye-bye. Hurry, ball, hurry! This is really great. I've always loved mountains, and here I've got mountains and golf, too. Now hit it, Susie, hit it. He didn't hit it either. A bogey for Bob, par for me. Fifteen is a straight 400-yard par four with bunkers set about 190 yards off the tee. We both cleared the bunkers. Roll, little ball, won't you roll? Hurry, little ball, won't you hurry? The way you're rolling makes me worry. Flirting with the hazard on the right. Roll, little ball, won't you roll? Hurry, little ball, won't you hurry? Get to the center where you belong. Bye-bye, birdie, bye-bye. Bye-bye, birdie, bye-bye. But Bob's second shot caught the trap to the left of the green. Nice out, Bob. Too short, too bad. A bogey. And a birdie for me. We both parred 16. But I slipped to a bogey on 17, so Bob's two over and I'm one under going into 18. I sure like the way this golf car rides. 18 is 425 yards, filled with traps. A low ridge cuts across the fairway out about 250 yards. And with all those traps to the left, you're faced with a decision right off the bat, whether to try to fly the sand or play it safe to the right. I think I can carry the trap. Fine shot, he's cleared the ridge. I've got to negotiate 200 yards, and there's not much of an opening between the traps guarding the green. 
My two iron should carry. How lucky can you get? Bob's five iron looks good. That cap's a nice two over round for Bob. If I don't blow it, I can hold it at one under. Thanks, Bob. Really enjoyed our game. Hi, Robin. You and Daddy been having a good time? Oh, I wish we could stay at Banff longer. But time to head north to Jasper. I've heard about this drive for years. It's got to be one of the most spectacular in the world. 142 miles of really good road through two parks. First stop, Lake Louise and its famous old chateau. Glaciers out on Mount Victoria feed this beautiful lake and that's why it has such an unusual turquoise color. Some workers on the Canadian Pacific Railroad first discovered it back in 1883 and they call it the Lake of the Little Fishes. We're backpacking nuts, so we can't resist hiking the trails around the lake. And I can't resist the moonlight. This is a really beautiful spot. Now we're in Jasper National Park. These mountains aren't as high as some of the U.S. Rockies, but we're far enough north that many are snow-capped all summer long. We can drive right up to the Athabasca Glacier. It's part of the Columbia Ice Fields, 150 square miles of ice and snow and glaciers, the largest on the North American continent outside the Arctic Circle. The glacier's receding now, feeding the Athabasca River and eventually emptying into the Arctic Ocean. Robin's having a ball feeding the birds. Lots of wildlife in these parks. Elk, mountain sheep, beaver, bears, and deer. Another beautiful spot along the road, Pato Lake. I think Robin is getting ready for a snack and a nap, but the birds ate all our cookies. Well, we haven't got far to go to Jasper now. Boy, hasn't this been a super drive. Gee, I'm glad we're going to stay at Jasper Park Lodge for a while. I've heard about it for years. It's a lovely spot, nestled here next to Lac Beauvert. A lot of royalty, prime ministers, movie stars, and VIPs come here for vacation. Bing Crosby won the totem pole golf tournament here in 47 and 49, and he comes back often. He usually stays in one of these cabins. And talking about golf, the pro has a game lined up for me in the morning with one of Jasper's top players. It's cold out here this morning. Loosen up the shoulders. I always start with my easy shots and work up to the driver.
Hi, I'm Ramsey Heckley. I understand we're having a game this morning. Hi, Ramsey. Yes. Are you about ready? Yeah, you bet. Let's go. Okay. It's late enough in the season that the rough is getting brown, but the fairways are in great condition. This is another Stanley Thompson course. The site was originally covered with timber and huge glacial boulders. It was cleared away in the early 20s and train loads of soil were brought in for the fairways. In the late 50s, the whole course was plowed up and rebuilt. This is number nine. Uh, it's called Cleopatra. It's, I guess that's uh, it's called Cleopatra because you can go so easily astray on it. Look at all those traps. And most of the fairways are lined up so the green is directly in line with one of the mountaintops surrounding the valley. This is a 230-yard par 3. Actually, it should play shorter at this altitude and because the green is 63 feet below the tee, I ought to be able to get home with a four-wood. There she goes. That'll be trapped. Uh, a good way to play this hole is to play it toward that gully on the right of the uh, trap. It's called Hogan's Gully, and it'll roll you right in on the mat. Now, he tells me, you're on and you stayed on. Yep, I'm in the sand, all right. Not bad for direction, but my distance wasn't so hot. We both started this hole even, and we're still even at the turn. Here we are on 13, and we're still even. This is a long one. Par five and 595 narrow yards to a hidden green down and to the right. Well, number 13, uh, this is the longest hole in the course, 595, and uh, but the best way to get the maximum out of your drive would be just to go to the right of center. That'll give you, uh, it'll give you a good long roll on, on your uh, drive. I can understand why they say this guy moves mountains on his days off. There's no way to get home in two, so I'll just smooth a four wood down into position for a good approach. Gotta be pretty close to on. Well, there's your 150 yard marker, uh, Susie. It makes it sort of easy on this course. Whatever oh, you can fine. take it from there. Okay. You shoot directly underneath the uh, marker there. Center of the green is below that marker. Then a seven iron ought to put me right on the pin. on the trees for? That's to prevent the bear from climbing up and um, bothering your putting. Oh, okay. <laughs> so near and yet so far. That's what I call a cow-handed grip. But 
but it worked almost. And we're both still at par. Now there's a good safety idea. Fourteen. This looks like an interesting hole. Susie, come here. How would you like a drink of pure spring water? Sounds great. Mmm, tastes great. What a beautiful hole. It's 370 yards in all, par four, with a sharp dog leg to the left. There's a lot of water to cover to get to the fairway. If I hit them as far as you, Ramsey, I might shoot straight for the green, but I don't, so I won't. Tom, I pushed it. It's off to the right in those trees, clear across the fairway. Another fine shot. Let's go look at the damage. Could be bogeysville. Both trees are a problem. Could take a nine iron and chip the ball out onto the fairway, but I think I'll take my two iron and hit it very low and hook the ball. My left hand will be very strong on the club. I'm going to close my stance quite a bit. I'm going to close the club face a little bit, and my swing plane will be very flat. And I'll try and finish flat, too. Get around there. All of a sudden, if I don't blow this putt, I'll be in Birdiesville instead of Bogeysville. That's golf. Oh, too bad. Give me that ball, Susie. I'm going to have to give it a talking to. Bye-bye, Birdie. We're still neck and neck with two pars on 14, and coming up to the par 3 15. This is the bad baby, a 150-yard hold. Uh, I don't think it's really that bad, though. I made a hole-in-one on it four years ago. My seven should carry. Well, no aces today. If only his putts were as true as his drives, he'd be burning this place up. I finally got it one under. I'm sure glad this is vacation golf and not for a living. This is uh, 16 is a long, narrow um, fairway. Uh, don't pull it to the left, you'll get into the uh, lateral water hazard. Uh, the only alternative is to keep it straight down the center. The green is down there to the right in the shadows. Okay, Ramsey says straight down the center. Play the hole just like you see it Over the lake and through the trees It's headed down the middle, ain't you lucky? Old man mountain sees it all The lake is gonna take your ball Oh, bogey, we don't need you hanging around that's really flirting with the hazard. You're rolling, makes me worry. Flirting with the hazard on the right. Roll, little ball, won't you roll? Hurry, little ball. Oh, I left it out to the right. To the center where you belong. Bye, bye, birdie, bye, bye. Bye, bye, birdie, bye, bye. Roll, little ball, won't you roll? Hurry, little ball, won't you hurry? The way you're rolling makes me worry. Hurting with the hazard on the right. Roll, little ball.
ball, won't you roll? Hurry, little ball, won't you hurry? Get to the center where you belong. Bye-bye, birdie, bye-bye. Bye-bye, birdie, bye-bye. Roll, little ball, won't you roll? Hurry, little ball, won't you hurry? The way you're rolling makes me worry. Putting with the hazard on the right. Car is all I can manage here, too. With that par for both of us on 17, we're ready to tee off on 18, with you even, and I'm still one under. Now, if I don't miss this putt on 18, I'll be one under for the day. Gotcha. Double gotcha. And a par round for you. It's been a super day, Ramsey. Thanks very much. I can't think of a better way to end our trip. I guess the time always goes quickly when you're having fun. Each of us doing what we enjoy. And being together, so much to see and do. And it's so beautiful. But the best part was just taking it easy. No pressure. Playing golf just for fun, high in the Canadian Rockies. It's a trip we'll always remember. Roll, little ball, won't you roll? Hurry, little ball, won't you hurry? Get to the center where you belong. Bye-bye, oh, birdie, bye-bye. Bye-bye, birdie, bye-bye. Bye-bye, birdie, bye-bye.